Yo, what is up? Holy shit. I feel like I haven't done a video in a long time. But, you know, it's NBA season again. Time to do these overs and unders predictions. Uh, but this time I will make a another video when the season is done. I just didn't do it last year because of the bubble shit. So, hopefully there's no bubble again and we just see, you know, let them play all these 72, 72 games. Yeah. So, you got the over and unders here. On this piece of paper, um, wearing the Charlotte Larry Johnson jersey, you know, throwback. So, all right, first team on this piece of paper, we got the Lakers over or under 47 and a half. Now, the Lakers lost a couple pieces, gained a couple pieces. So, out of a 72 season game or game season, Lakers are at 47 and a half. Maybe LeBron rests is more. Uh, so I'm going to go with the over, though. Like, I feel like they can get 50 wins. That's pretty easy. Um, yeah, so we'll go We'll go over on that. Grizzlies at 31 and a half. Um, they got, I don't know if they got anyone like Major, but they got another year with John Morant, another year with, what's the dude's name? Hmm, can't think of a power forward's name. So, 31 and a half. I'm going to go, ooh. I'm going to go slightly over. I'm going to go like 32, 33 wins. So, yeah. Miami Heat, they're at 44 and a half. Um, they got the same team pretty much. I'm pretty sure they kept the same team. I don't remember them adding anyone either. Maybe they lost a couple of pieces. I don't know. But they're at 44 and a half. I can see them taking a dip, maybe 40 wins, not 44. Um, so we'll go 40 wins with them. Bucks are at 51 even. Now they did lose Eric Bledsoe. They gained a couple other pieces. So does that, you know, does it make a difference? They got Drew Holiday. So um, 51 wins is a lot in a 72 game season. No, nah, you can't go over 51. I'm going to go 50 for them. They'll win right at 50. T Wolves, 28 and a half. Um, over that. They're gonna win at least 30 games. Pelicans are at 30, 35 and a half. Now I don't see them winning 35 games, so we're gonna go under with the Pelicans right at 30. I'm gonna say 30 wins for them. Maybe 32. Mm. Yeah, 32. Knicks, 22 and a half. That's I'm fine with that. 22 wins. Solid for the Knicks. You know, they got Tom Thibodeau as their coach now, so let him develop those guys. Thunder, 23 and a half. I'm going to say they're going to they're gonna be right at 22, 23, too. They lost Chris Paul. You know, that team's really young. They lost Steven Adams. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna, they're going to take a dip. They lost Dennis Schroeder. So that team's going to take a major dip. But 23 wins is solid, you know, for a younger team. You only get better. Magic are at 32 wins even. Um, I can see them win more than 32. Maybe 33, 34, coming off the magic of the bubble. You know, magic bubble, I guess. Uh, yeah, now this one's tricky because the 76ers, they have them at 44 and a half. But this is, I'm doing this before, if James Harden does get traded for to the Sixers because that's been the talk. So 44 and a half for their team right now. Adding Dwight Howard, who was maybe Danny Green. No, Danny Green's not there. Uh, 44 and a half. Can Ben Simmons and Embiid work well together for another year? Or maybe half a year? Uh, I don't see them winning 44 games, though. I'm going to say them, they're going to win 40. So under on that. Suns, 39 and a half. Over on that. Uh, 40 wins with Chris Paul. De Devin Booker was a piece in the bubble. So they did lose... Kelly Oubre, who was a big piece, but Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker's going to step up his game playing with Chris Paul. Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton with the pick and roll. I'm going to go over on 39. Blazers, 40 and a half. I'm going to say 42 wins. So over for the Blazers, 42 wins. Kings are at 28 and a half. Going to go right at 30 for them. So over. Um... Spurs are at 29 and a half. Now, I don't know if they, they still have Dante Murray, I think. 
an older LaMarcus Aldridge. They don't really have, I don't know who they drafted. I don't, they didn't pick up anyone. So 29 and a half, Pop is still there. Tim Duncan is the coach, is the assistant. 29. They're going to go under that. I'm going to go 25 wins for the Spurs. Unless they have some like miracle thing. Raptors at 42 and a half. Uh, under for that team. I think they're going to be right at 40. You can see that. Jazz are at 41 and a half. They can go over. Mm. No. No. They can go right at 42. So under for that. Wizards are at all right, back. Had a phone call, so we're just going to skip over that. But we're on the Wizards. 32 and a half. Now they got Westbrook and Bradley Beal now. Lost John Wall. John Wall's been out for the past two years. So 32 and a half on Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook's back. Oh, 32 and a half. Yeah, I'll um, I'm going to say... Right at 32. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break them even. Um, yeah, so Wizards even. Hawks, 35 and a half. They got a whole new player, a bunch of players. They got Gallinari, another year of Trey Young. I mean, they got Rondo now. They got, they got hella people. They got Chris Dunn. They got a lot of veterans now. So does that jump them up to 35 or more wins? Um... So if they have 30 wins, that means they're going to lose 42 times. Mm, I'm going to give them, now, slightly under. Slightly under, dude. Like, right at, like, 32, 33. Not much under, but slightly under. Um, and then the Celtics, 45 and a half. They got the same team they've had forever. Mine is Gordon Hayward, though. But he really wasn't there either, so... And they got Trish and Thompson. 45 and a half is a lot. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go over on that. I'm going to go like 46, 47. Not much, like I said, on everything. A lot. Nets, 45 and a half too. KD's back. Another year with Kyrie, but they're going to, that's the first year together. Um, yeah, so 45 and a half. I'm going to say they're going to be even at 45. Hornets at 25 and a half. They could possibly be with LaMelo Le Ball. They're, they're a young team. So 25 and a half. I'm going to have them right at 20. So they're going under. Now my Bulls. I'm a Bulls fan. 29 and a half. Now they got a new coach. New GM. They We drafted, you know, Pat. What was his name? Patrick. Is it Patrick Williams? I think so. Um, same team, though. Pretty much. I mean, we lost Chris Dunn. And, yeah, that's about it. Pretty much have the same team. 29 and a half. Everyone stays healthy. Zach Levine's going to rise his game even more this year. If Wendell can stay healthy, Lauren Arkin can stay healthy. You know, the rookie coming in. Kobe White was a baller last year. Dude, I'm going to give us, like, 33 wins. I'm going over for the Bulls. We just got to close games out. Last year, we didn't close games out. So, if we close games out this year with the Billy Donovan as our coach, I think it's going to be a lot different. Um... Now, Cavs are at 21 and a half. I don't even know who they have anymore. Like, real shit. Um, so, 21. I'm going to go even for them, though. They'll win 21 games. I could, I could see that. Mavs, 42 and a half. They're going to go... They're not going over. They don't have Porzingis right now. Mm, how long is he out? Um, Mavs, 42 and a half. That means they lose 30 games. They lost Seth Curry, too, right? Yeah. I'm going to go under 42 wins. Nuggets, 44 and a half. I'm pretty sure they have the same team. Michael Porter Jr. was a stud in the bubble. He's only going to get better. Jamal Murray. Jokic. Yeah, 44 and a half. I'm going to go over like 45, 46. Pistons at 23 and a half. Who knows what, who's going to be on their team at the end of the year? Will they trade Derrick Rose? Will they trade Blake Griffon? So... 23 and a half. I'm going to go under. They got rid of Luke Kennard, too. They got a lot of big guys. They got Grant and Plumlee now. But, you know, I'm going to go. I'm going to go under. But, like, 21, 22 wins. Ain't going to be shit. Warriors are 36 and a half. Clay's out again. Obviously, everyone knows that. They did get Kelly Oubre. They got Steph Curry coming back. 36 wins and a half is, a, is a, not a lot for them. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go slightly under. I'm going to go, like, 32 31 wins for them under 
The Rockets are at 33 and a half. They got Boogie. They got John Wall. They got still, they're still going to keep Harden, I think, from today's news, which is Tuesday the 21st. Um, yeah, that's the Rockets, 33 and a half. That's crazy. They're not going to make the playoffs with that. Um, we're going to go slightly over just in case, like, Boogie and John Wall are, like, prime guys like they have been in the past. So 35, 36 wins, break it even, you know. Um, but yeah, we go slightly over on that. Pacers at 39 and a half. Who the fuck do the Pacers have? Hmm. They still got Old Depot? I haven't been following the Pacers, obviously. I don't, I don't know. 39 and a half. If, if I can remember the teams, a bonus. Miles Tennant. Brogdon. Hmm. We'll go slightly under for that. And then the last team on this obviously of the NBA that I'm on this list, is the Clippers at 46 and a half. Now, they lost Montreal Harrells, who is a pretty beast off the bench. Um, but they get another year with Kawhi and Paul George together. Lou Williams, Serge Ibaka. I think they fired Doc Rivers last year. I don't know who their coach is. 46 and a half is a lot for them because they didn't really do that well in the bubble. So they, they could be slumpy too. I'm going to go like... They went 46. That's only the only like 28 games. Not even, like slightly, like 25, 22 games, 23. We're going to go under with the Clippers. Like 44 wins. Yeah. No, we'll go even. 46 wins is enough. Yeah. Now that is the over and unders for my, it's my opinion. You know, I've, I probably left out a lot, like a little bit of stuff here and there, but I love basketball. I'm in a fantasy league now with my brother Mason. Um, so, yeah, if anyone else has like their over and unders, go ahead and comment down below. I'm actually going to do a follow up. So, hopefully, this whole season is a season, not a fucking half a season plus a bubble where teams didn't make it. So, their records didn't count for what I had for them last year. But, yeah, um, NBA starts tomorrow. So,. Boom, let's get it. There's two games. Clippers and Lakers and Warriors and Nets. Should be a good one. So let's let's kick off the NBA season right. Let's get it.